breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. We condemn brutal murderer of Nigerian soldiers. We are after terrorists, not security personnel. IPOP speaks. We condemn brutal murderer of Nigerian soldiers. We are after terrorists, not security personnel. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, have stated that the Nigerian government and its security personnel should be held responsible for the killing of the fellow personnel and the burning of institutions in the southeast. IPOP said it is a common phenomenon that the government is usually quick to point accusing fingers at the group within within minutes of any attack in Southeast without investigation. This was contained in a statement issued on Saturday by the group's spokesman, Emmanuel Powerful, condemning the reckless murderer of Nigerian soldiers. He, however, cautioned the Nigerian army to stop accusing IPOB members, firstly, adding that they are not responsible for the attacks and killings. The statement read in part, in view of the recent murder of four Nigerian soldiers in Enugu state, as well as those in a number of states, which were accompanied by the most reckless and senseless accusations against IPOB has been behind the attacks. It has become very imperative to caution the Nigerian army and government to desist from such unfounded and false accusations against the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. It is a common phenomenon that the Nigerian government and their security agencies are quick to point accusing fingers at IPOB within minutes of any attack in the East without investigation. It is surprising that they haven't linked IPOB in the insecurity ravaging northern Nigeria. With the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the command and leadership of the liberator, Unamdi Yoko Choko Kano condemned the reckless murder of Nigerian soldiers, but at the same time, cautioned the Nigerian army to stop accusing IPOB members falsely. We are not responsible for the attacks and killings. We have remained a peaceful movement seeking for freedom and independence of Biafra people, in spite of all the persecutions and provocations at the hand of the Nigerian state. But we shall not take any blackmail from the government just because they have our resolve to get Biafra at all costs, but most importantly, through peaceful agitation. As for horse in IPOB and ESN, our hands are clean from all the government's accusations. Our focus is to get rid of terrorists in our forest and our bushes who are raping our women, killing our farmers and destroying our farms. On killing of security men and burning of institutions in Biafra land, 
the Nigerian government and our foot soldiers should be responsible, the statement added. The indigenous people of Biafra, I Poba stated that the Nigerian government and its security personnel should be held responsible for the killing of their fellow personnel and the burning of institutions in the southeast. IPOP said it is a common phenomenon that the government is usually quick to point accusing fingers at the group within minutes of any attack in the southeast without investigation. This was contained in a statement issued on Saturday by the group's spokesman, Emma Powerful, condemning the reckless murderer of Nigerian soldiers. He, however, cautioned the Nigerian army to stop accusing IPOP members falsely, adding that they are not responsible for the attacks and killings. The statement read in part, in view of the recent murder of four Nigerian soldiers in Enugu state as well as those in Anambra state, which were accompanied by the most reckless and senseless accusations against IPOB has been behind the attacks. It has become very imperative to caution the Nigerian army and government to desist from such unfounded and false accusations against the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. It is a common phenomenon that the Nigerian government and their security agencies are quick to point accusing fingers at IPOB within minutes of any attack in the East without investigation. It is surprising that they haven't linked IPOB to the insecurity ravaging northern Nigeria. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.